How's it going? This is Mike over at Monster Mobile Marketing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Gondola for Dropbox, a photo album management app that easily simplifies on how you deal with your photos in between devices utilizing Dropbox. So let's go ahead and jump into the app here. As you can see, I'm already greeted by an album named Camera Uploads with, that has seven photos inside of it. Now when you link up your Dropbox account to this app, it will automatically upload whatever you have stored in your Dropbox. I'm going to jump into settings really quick here. As you can see, my app is already linked up to the Dropbox with a bunch of options that we have. Uh, the quality of the upload, high, medium, low, original, as well as preserving the location of the data. And you've got a bunch of features in terms of slideshow, which new in the 1.4 version has added a few more options within that. Um, you can actually change the duration of each slide anywhere between 5 and 30 seconds as well as repeat shuffle and also high quality photo. Now you can also see that there is a check for updates tab where if you enable this uh, any photo that you add to Dropbox say from another device um, if you have this checked on it will automatically upload the photos from Dropbox when you open the app which is which is a really useful tool so we're gonna go ahead and click into the photos that we have here and we will go into one of my images and this does support full screen uh, pinch to zoom rotation single photo delete and save so if we wanted to we can go ahead and zoom the image in zoom it around and if we want to slide it into landscape mode, we can do that as well. So we're going to go ahead and close that out. Now let's take a quick look at the, the slideshow feature here. Now when you're within a folder, all you've got to do to activate the slideshow feature is rotate your device into landscape mode, and this will activate it. So we're going to go ahead and rotate our device into landscape, and as you can see, that will activate the slideshow. Now this also supports AirPlay mirroring on supported devices, of course, to view your slideshows on a much larger screen. Easily a useful tool to have. We're going to go ahead and back out of this. And as you can see on the bottom left-hand corner, an addition sign, we're going to go ahead and create a new album. Uh, you can also upload photos individually if you'd like, but we are going to create an album and we are going to name it Football Picks. We're going to go ahead and save, and that is going to pull up uh, our photo library, and we're going to add some pictures out of our Oakland game picks. And as you can see, you can go ahead and check mark any photos that you would like. Now, a really neat feature within this, um, let's say you have a lot of photos in the same folder, and you don't want to spend the time check marking each one of them out of that folder, you can actually shake the device and it will check mark every photo in that folder. Extremely useful tool right there. Um, just for an example, if you have 80 photos in a, in a folder, rather than going through, tapping each one of them, that, that's a, a great feature to have. We're gonna go ahead and upload three of these photos into our album. That, as you can see, a new folder is made, labeled Football Picks. And this will take a few seconds to load the images up. And as you can see, there they are. There's my three photos that I've just added into that folder. All right. Now you'll notice in the upper right-hand corner, you can click Edit, and you can choose any of these pictures to delete. You can move them around, as well as download them back to your photo library. All right, so we're gonna back out of that. And we're gonna go back, and we are actually gonna add, we're gonna upload uh, another photo here real quick. And we're gonna show you the Move feature. All right, so as you can see, we've got a new uh, album here named Camera Roll. We're going to go into that. And let's say we wanted to move this into our Football Picks folder. We're going to go ahead and click Edit. We're going to choose the photo that we'd like to move. And when you click Move, it pulls up your albums. You can go ahead and put in any album that you would like. And as you can see, the photo is gone. The camera roll folder is empty now, and you've got four photos in your folder, and there is a picture. 
definitely some cool features involved in this. Obviously, if you have an empty folder that you no longer have use of, you just edit, click on it, and click delete. All right. This app is available on the App Store right now at the good cost of 99 cents. And also keep an eye out for future updates that will allow you to share photos to Facebook and Twitter, as well as the ability to take photos within the app. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Again, this is Mike from Monster Mobile Marketing. We'll catch you later.